to Expresso, your feel-good breakfast show. Now, what would feel-good be if you can't be beautiful at the same time? Now, today we have Paula Began in studio, an internationally acclaimed beauty expert. And she's published over 20 books about beauty, and she's been on numerous American TV shows, and we're lucky to have her in South Africa and also here on Expresso today. Also known as the Cosmetic Cop, Paula is here to share with us everything that we need to know about our skin. Now, I'm delighted to have you here because we can take all your ideas and make it our own, literally. Explain your nickname for me. Let's get to the Cosmetic Cop idea first. Why have you named yourself Cosmetic Cop? Well, actually, I, 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 it wasn't, I didn't give myself that handle. I, uh, early on when I wrote my first book, Blue Eyeshadow Should Be Illegal, and by the way, it, it should still <laughs> be illegal, um, I went on the Oprah Winfrey show for the first time. I've done her show many times uh, when it was on, about 15 times, including reruns. And the first time I did her show, she, it was a 30-minute show in Chicago when she had just left Baltimore. And we were, you know, girls in the green room doing our makeup and talking about my book. And she said, you know, what you're doing is kind of like you're the cosmetics cop. And I thought, darn, that's good alliteration. I really, <laughs> I got to use that. And it stuck ever since 1984, 1985, ever since then. So uh, it was Oprah Winfrey who, um, who gave me my name. Skincare, or like we call it cosmetics, it's your passion. It's my passion. I, I look at you and I, I think you're beautiful and I, I almost Actually, think, you're stunning. Thank look you, at you. Paula. See, you, we're having you. a girls' field day. <laughs> it's feeling good and looking beautiful. Why did you go into cosmetics? So at the age of 11, I think, is what really started because at the very same time, I, you know, passed puberty, I got acne, really nasty acne. And by the age of 22, I had used every skincare product on the market. I had seen over a dozen dermatologists. I still had acne, and often I had worse skin. I had red inflamed skin. I think that passion to know what was going wrong. Why did they sell me a toner saying it was going to close pores, and I still had pores? What was that about? Uh, and then I got a job uh, to send myself to university doing makeup. I was pretty good at makeup, and that pretty much with what I learned in science and what I learned working in the cosmetics industry, that just made me angrier and angrier. And then when I was working behind the counter and in the United States, they made ingredient listings mandatory. The astringent I was using, the third ingredient was acetone. Wow. That's nail polish remover. That should not be in skincare. And that just has started I mean, from here, 20 books later, and then, you know, the information on my websites, I, I seemingly can't stop doing this. Now, you mentioned something really important, ingredients. Even when we look at food, we go, okay, so if it has more than four ingredients, we should be careful about it. And uh, is there anything in the ingredients list in terms of skincare that we should be avoiding? Simply put, you want to avoid ingredients that irritate the skin. Irritation breaks down collagen, increases oil production, breaks down elastin, makes skin look dull, and then on and on. Irritation is bad. What irritates the skin is alcohol, peppermint, menthol, eucalyptus, essential oils. They're nice for your nose. They're bad for your skin because highly fragranced ingredients cause irritation. Um, on and on and on. The, the sun in particular is carcinogenic and ages the skin. Uh, so looking for sunscreen ingredients are important. And the other ingredients that the skin desperately needs are antioxidants. That's probably, if there is an anti-aging thing in the industry, it's antioxidants. Now, you've just mentioned a whole list of stuff that we can probably find in your books. You've written many, many bestsellers. Right. What, are, what are some of the things that we can learn from your books that we can't get from our girlfriends and from oh, our moms? So I'll shock you a little bit. Uh, you don't need an eye cream. There's no research anywhere. See, I've shocked you. I, There's I'm no shocked. research anywhere in the world showing that the eye area needs something different than the face when it comes to fighting wrinkles, dark circles, uh, dryness, moisturizing, not a shred of research. The other thing, you never buy a product in a jar. All of the beautiful state-of-the-art ingredients like antioxidants, something called cell communicating ingredients like vitamin A and vitamin B, don't like air. They break down in the presence of air. So when you take that lid off of the moisturizer and stick your finger in, which transfers bacteria, you're breaking down those beautiful ingredients. No jar packaging. Natural does not mean better. Natural is not the answer for skincare. There are lousy natural ingredients. There are great natural ingredients, but they, it is not all wonderful. 
and synthetic is not all bad. Being scared about your skincare won't help you take good care of your skin. Give me one secret tip. I mean, if I want to hang out with the girls and I say, you know, I have a secret tip, what, what is it to share with our that viewers? Regardless of your skin color, if you're not using sunscreen and you're not being smart about the sun, when you're my age, you will not, actually, when you're over 40, <laughs> you will not like your skin. Most of what we don't like about our skin is related to sun damage. And, and, overarching expensive doesn't mean better. Just because you have spent more money on skincare doesn't mean you're gonna have better skin. In the 30 years I've been doing this, well actually 34 if I tell the truth, in the 34 years I've been doing this, without exception I have found expensive doesn't mean better. There are really terrible expensive products and there's terrible inexpensive products, but price doesn't tell you anything about the quality. That's what you can find in my work is regardless of your budget, what are the best products? Because wasting money isn't pretty. Wow, Don't wasting money isn't, isn't pretty. Mm. I could talk to you for hours. I'll come back then. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> Cosmetic Cop, Paula, it's been great having you Thank in the studio. You. What an and honor. After speaking to Paula, it feels like I want to put a hat on and wear no eye cream because I don't need no, it, right? No, no, moisturizer just doesn't have to be labeled <laughs> as an eye cream. Just doesn't have to be a separate product. So you use one product, your face moisturizer under your eye. Well, yes. there's lots that we can Oh, there's learn. so much to talk about. From our Cosmetic Cop to the rest of us. Thank <laughs> you.